Today we're going to take a look at getting started with RAD Data Pager. RAD Data Pager is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET SAML development. RAD Data Pager provides the user with a navigation interface to page through any collection of data. The control provides page data source to any data bound controls. RAD Data Pager is extremely helpful when working with large collections of data, providing data virtualization when working with the Telerik RAD grid view. In this video, we will see how easy it is to get started with RAD Data Pager. We will begin by adding RAD Data Pager to RAD Grid View and demonstrate how it allows you to split your data into pages and display it in a user-friendly way. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are once again inside of Visual Studio 2010 and I'm just going to go File, New, Project. I'm going to select Telerik Silverlight and then C Sharp RAD Control Silverlight Application. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this the name of RAD Data Pager GS for just getting started, TTV for Telerik TV, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press OK. We're going to host the Silverlight application in a new website, and we're also going to be using Silverlight version 5 for this demo. After that, we'll hit OK. So the next screen that we see is actually called the Project Configuration Wizard. So we're going to be using the RAD Grid View as well as RAD Data Pager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down through this list and I'm going to select Telerik.Windows.Controls.GridView. And you may notice that it automatically placed a check mark on the other dependent references, such as Telerik.Windows.Controls.Input telerik.windows.data and then if we scroll up to the very top telerik.windows.controls so we're ready to complete this so we're going to go ahead and hit finish here and our Silverlight 5 project will begin spinning up okay and so once our project is loaded I'm just going to scroll over just a tad bit here and look underneath references you'll see that we have our telerik.windows.controls controls.gridview, controls.input, and telerik.windows.data has been added to our project automatically for us. If we scroll over just a tad bit here and we move this window up just a tad, you'll see that our Telerik XML namespace has also been added for us. So now that that's in place, let's go ahead and let's add in uh, a few row definitions. So I'm just going to paste in a code snippet and you'll see we have a grid.row definition and then of course we have a grid.row definition of our height just set to auto. So at the top we're going to have our RAD grid view and then at the bottom we'll have our RAD data pager. So we'll go ahead now and I'm just going to expand this window a little bit where we can see things a little bit better. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste in a RAD grid view. Now we have a XAML Flick series that's on that if you want to learn a little bit more about how to use the RAD grid view. So I've added a RAD grid view. I've given it a name. The item source is set to a binding of page source which we're about to get to in just a minute. And then the element name here is RAD data pager which we're about to add. I've also set auto generate columns to false. And then I have manually defined a few columns here. So I've defined one named name, another one with company name, and then the third one with title. And then we're just closing out of our columns tag and then our RAD grid view. So the next thing that we're going to need to do is actually add in RAD data pager. So I'm going to go into Telerik, RAD controls for Silverlight, configure project, and I know it actually lives inside of telerik.windows.controls.data so I'm just going to place a check on that and of course we could have placed a check on that in the very beginning uh, but we did not so we're just going to go ahead and add that in now and then we're going to click the finish button so now our references has been updated and of course we could scroll over and we can see that that has been added so now if we come back underneath our RAD grid view we are just going to paste in another code snippet. So we're adding Telerik RAD Data Pager. We're giving it a name. And now we're giving it a row of a grid.row of 1. 
which is going to put it down here at the bottom like I talked about a little bit earlier and then I've set the display mode to all the page size to 5 and then I've set a margin so going back to the display mode there's a lot of different modes that's available so I chose all which is the default so that means that all of the buttons are going to be displayed so this basically allows you to decide which visual elements will be visible so there's also other options that you can choose such as first or first last numeric last next previous previous next or you could only select text if you wanted to again I'm just going to leave it as the default of all where it will display everything the other item to discuss briefly is the page size so the rad data pager splits the data into separate pages with a certain size so we have decided that we're going to split it into five so by default it's set to zero and all the data gets displayed into one page and one page only so we're going to add in about ten items which will give us two pages so the only thing left to do here is to go ahead and add in a class and add in some data to our rad grid view so let's begin by going ahead and adding a new class to our project so I'm going to simply go right click add class and I'm just going to name this employee and inside of our employee class I'm just going to paste in a new employee so we have public class employee inside of our constructor we're going to have the name the company name and then the title and then of course you can see we have the public strings listed here of name a public string of company name and then the last one of title so the only other thing that we need to do here is we need to go back into our main page constructor and wire this all in so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste in a method here that's called populate data and I'm going to just go ahead and fix my using statements and so from here we can see we have an observable collection of employee equals new observable collection and then we're just going to add a bunch of different employees here and at the very end I'm going to add this dot rad data pager dot source equals employees I want to call this underneath our initialized component so populate data so we should be set now to go ahead and see this in action I'm going to go ahead and save the project and now I'm just going to go ahead and run the project so once we run the application we'll see that we have rad grid view listed here we have our first five items but down here at the bottom we'll see our data pager so we see we have a couple of different buttons so we have page one and then page two I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click on page two once I click on page two you can see our last five items of course I can switch back to the first page if I want or I can use the navigation buttons to navigate to the next page or I can go all the way back up to the front you may also notice that over here you'll see page one of two of course you can change this value if you would like if you want to navigate to a certain page so thanks again for watching and please tune in to tv.telleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.telleric.com for the latest news and announcements